Did you know that this there's this 16 year old kid who just won Did you know that there is this 16 year old kid who just won 3 million dollars by playing Fortnite Your Fortnite World Champion Booga! 16 year old Kyle Gearsdorf took home the title and a whopping 3 million dollar grand prize at the first ever Fortnite World Cup Why am I not playing Fortnite. Hmm. Oh, this guy come there. Oh. That's why I say, my dear, timing is everything. Mm, how you feel? No. Okay. <laughs> Hey, how come you can, uh, I say? Let's play, let's play with you guys. How come you can suddenly stop the... Mmm! Mmm! I see them playing. Whoa! Ah. One dog. Taking three times. Easy game. Oh. 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 What? Mama mia! Alright, alright, alright. Let me just say something real quick, alright? I'm not planning to play games and earn millions of dollars. I'm not planning to do that. I, I, I don't see it's possible for me. I don't see that. The... Of course you can! You're the best! You're so good at this game! <laughs> me? Ah, shut up. All I want to say is that gaming is not as bad as it seems. It's just like watching a movie. That's for me, in my opinion. When you watch a movie, you watch a movie. But when you play game, it's like you're in the movie. You're, you're the character. You have to think, you have to go through all these adventures. You're, you're the character. So you're immersed into the movie rather than just sit back and watch. And to me, that unlocks a whole new level of benefit to the person playing the game. And as the title suggests, these are five things that I think has benefit me from gaming. Number one, reflex. <laughs> ah. You know when you play these kind of games, shooter games, racing games, adventure games, you gotta be on your feet at all times. Your level of alertness and responsiveness gotta be at high level almost all the time if you let your guard down you're dead this is why i say over the years of gaming it has helped me to build my reflex there were many events in life such as when you're driving a car and it's this guy just swooshes by in front of you or something just falls off from the table and such and things like that and i was able to handle those situations calmly without panicking or getting frightened 
Whereas I see some people, they are easily scared, they easily panic and easily get frightened by this kind of little, little bit of surprises. <laughs> Number two is decision making. Things are always changing in the game. So if you're stuck with one decision, and you're faced with a situation that's always changing. For example, you're fighting this guy, you're fighting this enemy, and this enemy has another opponent beside him, and another opponent shows up. Mess with the wrong guys, bro. And when you make this sort of decisions, you gotta be quick. It's like a split second kind of thing. You cannot have more than one or two seconds sometimes to make a very critical decision. And this decision will determine whether you live or die. Now, number three is multitasking. <sighs> you do not know the pain when you play a game if you do not know how to multitask. A game requires you to multitask almost all the time. Just imagine in a game, you have your keyboard, you have your mouse, you have your headphones, you have all these peripherals and then in the keyboard itself, there's so many buttons to press at one time. Let me use Fortnite as an example here. Fortnite is no child's game. There is just too many elements in this game to watch out for and to master in order for you to compete or even play this game for fun. <laughs> you imagine this. You see this guy and he sees you. You guys are making eye contact and he's coming at you full force. Yeah? And you look at him and oh man, he knows what he's doing. Oh man, what am I going to do? And he looks at you and he says, huh? You don't know what you're doing, huh? I'm coming at you, <laughs> I'm coming at you. And you start to think, oh man, oh man, what am I gonna do? Oh my goodness me. What is the, uh, um, should I put wall, wall, uh, Q, Q, um, uh, rams, C, C, what's my weapon again? My weapon one or two, and he's like building, building, he's like ramping up on you, putting floors, putting walls, ram, 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 pulls his shotgun up, boom, 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 machine up, and you're like, ah! I saw you. Okay. Just like that. There are a lot of situations where you need to multitask in the real world. And I really believe that gaming can help increase or develop this skill to a whole new level. Number four, reduce stress. We're faced with a lot of challenges every single day. We're faced with a lot of problems, a lot of uncertainties. We just go through life. We go through life. Now I'm tired of that crap. Hmm, how do I say this? Gaming has been my way of releasing stress. Yes, there are times that game adds on to my stress. There are times that it does that. But same goes to any other things. You, you can go out with your friends, you can watch movies, you can have other sorts of hobbies and other sorts of things you want to do. Not every time those things are going to make you happy and that's normal it should be the way that is my way to release stress to get rid of that unnecessary negativity that i have accumulating inside of me day after day after day mm, you just need to release that stress some somewhere and for me that's gaming <laughs> One HP better and you. What? I always emphasize the word balance because for me, gaming is some sort of a balance that I need to have in my life in order for me to function the way I function and operate the way I operate, think the way I need to think. It's not that I can't go through a day without gaming. I can go through the whole month without gaming, no problem at all. But that is my preferred way when I need to release stress. Last but not least, 
Number five. I just want to say that making friends is fun. Making friends is very interesting. But what if you can make friends from all around the world? <laughs> my friend, my friend in this game. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't die. Yes. <laughs> you have a, you have a rocket. I only got one. One guy goes. One guy. One guy goes. Let's dance, baby! Oh, uh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, mm. come on, uh, yeah, uh, come on. Gaming has helped me make friends from a lot of places, a lot of countries. I made friends from Nepal, I made friends from Thailand, from Malaysia, from Singapore. Not just knowing them on the surface, knowing their gamer tag, you know, like let's say, um, uh, Ducky Ducky or some kind of a weird kind of gaming name that you see out there You actually know them by their name. They, they're like they're very interested to know where you're from What is your real name? What is your Facebook? Of course, you want to be careful when you give out information to these kind of people, but There is a way and I'm not gonna go into that, but You should be careful. You should be protective of who you share your information with until you play for a long time together and you can build that trust with that person maybe you can get to know him a little bit better him or her i don't know it's it's a person it's your world you have fun but for me i'm happy that i met these people and i'm happy they know me and i'm happy they would they followed my social media and also my youtube account etc etc i'm happy that we can connect around with people around the world so there you go, the five things that I believe gaming has benefited me until today. Now before I conclude, I also want to say this. Gaming is bad when people start to lose their control, people have no balance, people let the bad take over, and also they focus more on the negative side of the game and use it for bad purposes, negative purposes. If you're a gamer out there like me, well, we have to see the positive side of things and we have to make sure that we do not go overboard and stay in within control and also have a balance with everything else that you do. Now with that said, I want to end this video. So please share your thoughts and your concerns down in the comment sections. Down in the comment sections, down in the comment section, there's no sections, there's one section below. Please also let me know if you enjoyed this content, want to see more, maybe an extended or part two, I'm not sure, something like that. If you want to see more, let me know down in the comment section down below. I will try to make it when I come back from offshore, give me two weeks, that's all I ask, two weeks. Stupid place. And if you like the video, you know what to do. It's your life. I can't dictate your life. Please give me a like, that's all I ask for. It's just one small like, just, 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 just a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. If you're watching from Facebook or Instagram, please come over to YouTube and subscribe to this channel. It really means a lot to me. The support from you is... <clears throat> Thank you for watching. I am Brian Christopher Lim, and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ching, ciao.